Hey there, adventurers. Welcome back to Joystick News, where we dive deep into the heart of gaming's most intriguing stories. Today, we're embarking on a journey into the shadows of the Fey and Nightingale, a realm where morality isn't as black and white as we might think. Strap in, it's going to be a fascinating ride. Nightingale, set in a breathtaking gaslamp fantasy world, promises more than just survival and crafting. It invites us into a complex narrative woven with Fey lore. But who are these Fey? Friends, foes, or perhaps something entirely beyond our human morality? Inflection Games, led by CEO Aaron Flynn, has crafted a world where Fey creatures shape the fabric of history. Diving into the game, we find that Fey are not just mere tricksters or ne'er-do-wells. They are depicted with a depth that mirrors the diverse and rich tapestry of world folklore. This is what sets Nightingale apart for me. The Fey challenge our preconceived notions, pushing us to consider the moral complexities of their world and ours. It's a narrative choice that breathes life into the genre. The Fey of Nightingale are divided into the summer and winter courts, each with its own disposition towards humanity. This division is a classic trope, yet Nightingale gives it a fresh twist, exploring how these relationships evolve and intersect with human history. It's this interplay, the dance between the courts and humanity, that fascinates me. Nightingale doesn't just use the Fey as window dressing, they are central to the story's heart and soul. And then there's Puck, your guide, narrator, and perhaps friend. Puck embodies the quintessential Fey trickster, yet his character offers more than just mischief. Can you trust him? His presence adds layers to the game's narrative, challenging players to question and interpret his true intentions. Puck's character is a masterstroke by inflection. He's not just a guide, he's a reflection of the game's moral ambiguity. His trickster nature keeps you guessing, making your journey through Nightingale all the more intriguing. Nightingale's setting allows it to explore the gray areas of morality, reflecting the complexities of human history through the lens of Gaslamp fantasy. The Fey, with their unique moral compass, offer a new perspective on the actions and hubris of humanity. Nightingale is more than just a game. It's a narrative exploration of morality, history, and the mysterious Fey. Its world is a canvas for moral questions, wrapped in the captivating aesthetics of Gaslamp fantasy. What will we learn about ourselves as we navigate this world? Only time will tell. So, what do you think about the moral complexity of Nightingale's Fey? Are you excited to unravel the mysteries of the Fey Courts and find your place in this enchanted world? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until our next adventure, keep exploring.